I got to tell you, this is my high school right here. I got to sit down with 94-year-old Stan Lee at his office in Beverly Hills. From the pages of comic books to box office hits, his superheroes have transcended generations. Guess what? There's some more out there as well. If there's one word that gets comic creator Stan Lee's fans cheering, it's his catchphrase. Excelsior! Yes! <laughs> For close to eight decades, the 94-year-old has been dreaming up superheroes. Yeah, I can fly. Hundreds of characters from Spider-Man, The Hope, The Fantastic Four, X-Men, Iron Man, and The Avengers. You brought a, a sense of literary chops to what was considered a kid's medium was that was that intentional it was very intentional i felt we're going to make the kind of books that parents would want their children to read little by little i noticed by the fan mail that we got that they were getting smarter or at least more literate marvel comics really was the first time we started to see superheroes who had flaws who were kind of like us it's no fun reading about somebody who's perfect you want to read about people that you can identify with because we've all got problems. And if you can create and write about a character who is flawed but manages to overcome those flaws, then I think that's pretty good. All right, kid. Good luck out there. In your mind, what makes a good superhero? He has to be somebody who risks his life to help other people. And, of course, he has to have a superpower or else he would just be a hero and not a superhero. How did you, for example, Spider-Man? I saw a fly crawling on the wall, and I thought, gee, if a guy could stick to the walls like an insect, that would be interesting. So I thought, insect man, nah, fly man, nah, Spider-Man. Oh, that sounded mysterious and threatening. I like that. And I brought the idea to my publisher. He said, Stan, that is the worst idea I have ever heard. 50 years later, Spider-Man's one of Marvel's most popular and commercially successful superheroes. Part of a franchise that's made Lee the highest grossing movie producer of all time. An estimated $15 billion in worldwide box office. What is it about these characters that have captivated people, not just in comics now, but, but in movies and TV shows? Every character has to have problems besides killing the villain, and we play them up. Somehow the audience comes along with us, and of course, nobody would miss a movie because then they'd miss my cameo. I should be on that list. Name? Stanley. You probably made more appearances <laughs> in movies and TV shows than any other artist ever. It happened by accident. It happened in one movie and then a director the next movie said, hey, let's use him also. And before you knew it, it became like a, a, a cult thing. I don't know. I love it. Enough said. Are you still thinking about superheroes? I have a new one coming out in a year or two called The Annihilator. Ooh. Just you remember you heard the that. The Annihilator. How about The Weatherman? Oh, a man. guy who controls weather. And... That's a great idea. Call your lawyer. I'll get mine. We'll work something we'll, we'll out. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. <laughs> well, cool. Stan That's frequently fine. used comics to talk about social issues. His passion, doing what he feels is right, hasn't wavered. Last year, he launched an initiative called Respect. Hopes the project will create conversation about equality, unity, and mutual respect for all. I mean, this guy is just... And a he's young kid. Legend no. series. Yeah. When my eight-year-old watches Avengers or Spider-Man, he says, there's Stan Lee. Oh, he really? sees, He identifies the cameos. That had to be the assignment of oh, a lifetime yeah. for gosh. you, though, because you love these I love heroes. these guys. Yeah. And, and Stan Lee, just, and such a nice down-to-earth man. Great guy. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a yes. I think yeah, he committed I mean, to I your think so. <laughs> I think so. Are yeah. you going to take on the Annihilator? <laughs> I, I will. And Iron Man. It's all, it's all, <laughs> what kind of I'm weather are you going to throw? I'm going to throw a lot of wet weather at Iron Man so he rusts. It's a longer process. It's exciting. Watching him rust would be great. All right, Al, thank you so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.